This is miserable! Serious mode. Mosaic. Why, hello there. Anthony Fantano here, the internet's busiest music nerd. It's time for an album review of the new Serious Mo LP, Mosaic. Down there in the D-Box we have an audio review of the new TV on the radio track, and also links to follow us on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter. Why? Because it's good for you. Serious Mo is an electronic music producer hailing from Germany, Europe's most German country. Even though this guy seems like a new face, he's actually been putting out releases for over 10 years. It's just that up until this point, his full-length debut, he's pretty much been sticking to EPs. There's new material here, reworked favorites. It's basically kind of like Serious Mo's coming out party where he shows everybody all of the tips and tricks that he's learned over the years. He's really all over the map on this thing, making this album extremely difficult to describe in one word or pigeonhole. I mean, sure, I could probably describe one track as being of a certain style, but still, the album as a whole is a genre hybrid that may not sit well with most people who don't like their electro touching their IDM and they don't want it anywhere near their dubstep. My favorite track on the LP is the opener High Together, which kind of reminds me of Justice if they had to buy all of their equipment at a Toys R Us. Not to say the sounds here are crappy or anything like that, it's the opposite. The lows are really heavy, booming, the highs are crisp, just all these synthesized sounds are so lush. What I'm trying to say is that so much of what I'm hearing comes off playful, bouncy, colorful. Sure, a lot of music here could be taken seriously as a dance tune, but still, Serious Mo isn't afraid to edit a little girl's voice into the track, or play audio of people booing him. There are a lot of moments here where I'm hearing a, a four-to-the-floor beat, something we're all used to, but there are so many subtleties flying by in the mix, whether it be rhythms, or just little glitches, or flourishes of synthesizer. There's enough variation to keep things interesting, but it doesn't go so far that it makes this album feel like a science experiment. Some of the sounds here may be too indulgent for a dance floor, an American one, but I could care less. I'm still liking it. Tracks like Sermonade and Bad Idea pull out some bass programming, <laughs> which shows Serious Mo isn't afraid to mix ideas together because the beats in those tracks are a little too overbearing or experimental for them to be simply considered dubstep songs. There's even a song here called Signals with some really speedy melodies, some dissonant chords here and there. Really reminds me of something I, I would hear off of Square Pusher's first album. There's one thing I can definitely say about this LP. It's not too repetitive, whether you're talking about what's happening in one song or the album as a whole. In fact, I think some people may complain that there isn't enough repetition. I try to think of who Sirius Mo wrote this music for, and after thinking about the songs on this album, listening to it again and again, I mean, he seems like the kind of guy who writes music for himself, or his own amusement, because he enjoys writing music. It's like he couldn't care less about appealing to one single crowd, which is why this album really lives up to the title, Mosaic. But if I have to pull it apart, there are some sounds here that weren't really doing anything for me, like on track 15, the sampled female voice there really doesn't do much, and uh, on the song Peeved, uh, there's a vocal there that sounds like a really bad Tom Waits impersonation. Plus there are a lot of tracks here that really are too short, and not only are too short, but don't develop fast enough or well enough to really leave a full impression. It's kind of just like they blow by and they kind of become a blur within the hour of material that this LP holds. But that's kind of the sacrifice here. If you want to do a hundred different things, but you only have so much time to do them in, you're gonna to have to, you know, cut a minute here, cut a minute there. I'm feeling a decent to strong seven on this thing. It's not a unique listen, but a fun listen. A fun listen, nonetheless. Links down there in the D-Box. Tell me what you think about this LP. Love it. Hate it. Why? And what do you think I should review next? Anthony Fantano? Serious Mo? Mosaic? Forever.